Algebra 2 Honors, Unit Circle, Continued. So, we've got some tricky stuff here. Um, we're in the unit circle. Do we find these coordinates? If you don't have a unit circle in front of you, pause this recording and go get one. Because you need to have one, otherwise you can't do it. I am going to quickly show you a unit circle. I'm fortunate enough to have it memorized, so I don't need to worry about it. That would be this. But I'm not going to be flashing back and forth, so you're on your own in that respect. 1 half negative root 3 over 2. Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's down in the fourth quadrant. And T would equal... Uh, 300 degrees. Now, that's just one answer, and I use degrees, which I'm actually more comfortable with radians. So I can give that answer as t equals negative 60 degrees. t equals 5 pi over 3. t equals, I could add uh, 6 pi over 3, 11 pi over 3. So there's so many ways I can answer these questions to get you to the same location. Boy, I sure hope that's the right location. I'm doing this all off my memory. Um, the next question is, where does sine equal negative root 3 over 2? And we can answer this question a lot of ways. We could say t equals, and I believe that's at the same spot. Sine is the y value. t equals 5 pi over 3. But t also equals... 4 pi over 3. So you have those two choices. You do it in degrees. T equals 240 degrees. T equals 300 degrees. You could wrap around twice. I already did it once with radians. You could do T equals 360 plus 240 is 600 degrees. T equals 660 degrees. You do negatives. T equals negative 60 degrees. T equals negative 120 degrees. All of these are correct answers. I need to give you much more information for you to answer these. So I got to give you a domain. No, it's not a range. Maybe in a pain in the butt. Here's my domain. Do I want it in degrees or radians? Well, obviously radians. If I wanted in degrees, I would have said something like this. Cosine equals 0. Cosine is the x. This would be at this location and this location. I want to jump up and say 90 and 270, but that's not right because I need to give it as radians, pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Negative 90 is less than or equal to 90. Wow. So in the unit circle, I'm only looking from here to here. And this is not going to be called, like, say, 315 degrees. It's going to be called negative 45 degrees, if that's where I'm going, which looks like I might be. So I can't do secant. However, I can do cosine. And I know when I flip it, I get root 2 over 2. So these are the same question. I just rewrote it in a way that I know how to do it. And I know that's at 45 degrees. And at... 315 degrees. Whoops, I just said I can't do that. Negative 45 degrees, because that's what the domain asks us. Let's imagine one of the answers was over here, and then I wouldn't be able to use it, because the domain says just stay on the right side of the y-axis. So here's lots and lots of problems. They continue on to the next page, but I'm not going to show you the next page, because I've already done the answer key. You need to pull out a unit circle and just bang your brain against these things. I would pause the recording and try these three on your own, four on your own, and then I'll do them right now. So at negative one half root three over two, we're looking at 120 degrees, also known as two pi over three. And what did this want? Positive negative what? Positive negative degree. Wimps. If I go to 120 and I flip it down, that gives me negative 240 degrees. Sure. Negative, negative, I'm in the third quadrant. I believe that's at uh, 225 degrees, also known as negative 135 degrees. 
also known as 5 pi over 4. 0, negative 1, 270 degrees. Negative 90 degrees, 3 pi over 2. Negative root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. That's a tricky one. We're in the third quadrant. Cosine is negative root 3 over 2, so that screams out to me 210 degrees, also known as negative 150 degrees, also known as 7 pi over 6. Answers to the next page are on Edline. You need to really put your time in on this so you know what you're doing. Good luck.